Today I'm going to show you how to make a grow tower. This is a great project for your greenhouse because it doesn't take a lot of space, but it's also great for outdoors because it's easy to maintain. It's a completely organic growing system that is self-contained. It's very easy and you can grow roughly about 50 plants in a three foot area. Um, you can build it yourself. It's really not difficult. I know you can kind of buy them prefabbed online for really expensive, but you really don't have to because you can make the whole thing for a few dollars. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Alright, you're going to start with a 55 gallon drum. Make sure it's something that wasn't containing uh, toxic chemicals. And you're going to take a drill. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. What I did there. Took a drill and just drilled a bunch of holes in the bottom to allow for drainage. Now the, uh, the drum I got for free didn't cost me anything. Then you want to get you some uh, PVC pipe. You can go to your hardware store or anywhere where they sell it and ask for scraps left over from what people have cut. See, that's why I joined it, to make it the right height. And you can get the scraps for next to nothing, so it's really, really inexpensive. And then you're going to want to drill holes in that also, a hole big enough for a, a worm to go through. And the only thing that you need, it doesn't have to be pretty or perfect, the only thing that you need to make sure with this is that you've got more holes at the top than you do at the bottom and you want them to be spaced a lot closer together at the top and the reason for that is because you're going to be putting water down here for compost tea and so forth that will kind of feed the roots of all your plants in the tower and you don't want to drown the bottom you want the water to be coming out faster at the top than it is at the bottom alright now I'm going to do mine you can do these measurements however you want depending on whether or not you're going to use small plants or, or larger plants you can fit more if you're doing just small I want it to be kind of a versatile I'm going to use it year round right now I'm going to plant some strawberries in it but in the fall I'll be planting leafy greens and lettuces and so forth really you can grow anything in here but um, shallow rooted things tend to do better because you will get some root tangle if you have a lot of really big plants but really you can do anything and it works really well so I'm going to go with six inch measurements so for mine I'm going to start I took a, a piece of rope or you can use twine or anything and I tied it around the barrel and I just took my tape measure and I'm going to go and push it down all the way around at six inches and then once I have it totally even all the way around I'm going to come back and mark my slits. All right, I have my holes cut. I didn't show the process. I didn't think it was necessary. All I did was use a skill saw. You can use a sawzall, jigsaw, whatever you have uh, access to. And I went ahead and cut on all of the lines that I drew earlier. Now, if you were going to use this for small plants like strawberries, you don't even need to go through this whole process. You can just take a little uh, two-inch round drill bit and just put a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of holes because they don't mind growing outward. Um, and you could fit a whole lot more if you were just strawberries, but because I want to be able to use this for all kinds of plants, including larger plants and winter plants, um, I'm going to go ahead and make the pockets and make them bigger because some plants don't like to grow out. They insist on growing up. So these pockets will give them the ability to grow up, and your regular vertical plants will grow in it just as well as your small ones. All right, to make the pockets, you need a heat source. Some people use heat guns. They're very expensive. You can use a torch. Just don't put it directly on it because it'll be too hot. Hold it back a little ways. Get where there's some shade so that you can see your flame. And we're going to melt this plastic. And when it gets warm enough to be pliable, you shove a 2x4 stob in it. Leave the 2x4 in it for a few minutes and let it cool. And what I have is I have two stops. So while I'm starting the next pocket, that stop will be sitting. And by the time I'm done with the second pocket, I can go pull the stop out the first one and start on the next one. So I'm rotating my stops. Uh, it doesn't take long to set. Once you uh, take the heat off, it's gonna, the plastic's going to re-solidify pretty quick. It really doesn't take very long for a pocket with a torch. Put the heat right on the, the crack and move it. When you see that plastic really starting to draw up like that, run it right on the inside and you want to kind of push it straight down like this so that your, in, your top full part folds in and your bottom part comes out. It's going to make like a little bit of a lip that sticks out here and goes in here. All that brown stuff will come off later after I clean it up. But give it a little pry. 
let it sit. It'll be cool and set by the time I start on the, the next one. All right, I've got, as you can see, the berries all in it. And in the top here, um, I've just got some lettuce that I pulled out of one of the hay bales behind me that's starting to wilt from the heat because it's starting to get hot. Um, this thing right here, <clears throat> you can use it uh, one of two ways. You can either put compost in it, which is the way that you're supposed to do it, or you can put um, uh, manure or anything, compost tea, manure tea, anything like that in it. And basically what this is going to do, you're basically making a composter in the middle of your container plant. So you're going to dump worms in the top. You can get your regular fishing worms or compost worms, anything you want. And the worms are going to crawl in and out throughout these holes that we drilled all throughout it. They're going to eat the compost and they're going to leave worm castings all throughout the barrel. And then when you water it, you put a little pan at the bottom to collect the water that as it cycles through, you're getting your compost tea and you water it back in. This keeps your nutrients in the, in the container. And of course, when you're done, you wanna put your little cap back on and that just kinda of keeps the smell from uh, getting out and everywhere. Now the really great thing about this system is you get the benefits of a container plant, you know, no weeding, very easy to maintain. For strawberries it's really great because we always have a problem here with the ants and the mice and so forth so it keeps it really easy, you know, I've got over 50 plants in a three foot square area so it's easy to put a little ant poison if I need or just something organic, anything to keep the ants down in that tiny little area. Um, and to keep the pest away and then I get all of this produce in this tiny little container. The real problem with container gardening is that if you use fertilizers, uh, most of your store-bought fertilizers are, are salt based so it destroys your soil, your soil tends to get salty, you have to throw the dirt away and start over. With a huge drum like this you don't want to have to be refilling the dirt. Like this you're using completely organic systems so your dirt is actually um, getting better as you go and you don't have to throw it away or reuse it. You just keep using it over and over every year. You throw a little compost down the middle. You get a composter, a container garden, and square foot gardening all together in the same container. And it just works really, really great. You get compost tea out of it. Everything is self-contained. The whole project probably cost me three or four dollars. You can't beat that. It's a great project. Try it. All right, and this is the final product on the replanting in the fall in the grow tower. Uh, as you can tell, it's so overgrown with vegetation that you can hardly even see the barrel anymore. I have winter lettuce all over it. And the great thing about this winter lettuce is you can just pull it, you know, a couple leaves at a time. You don't have to pull the whole head, so this will actually stay fresh and green and I'll have fresh lettuce all winter long and I can pull as much as I need every day and it'll continue to grow and regrow. And in the top we've got all kinds of different a variety of radishes, diacons, just all different kinds growing together in there that I'm actually about to harvest and replant with green onions. All right, and then I still have my the watering and throwing the organic matter down the center if I need to. Again, very easy once it's built. Absolutely no issue with grass. You can grow 50 to 75 plants in a three foot area. Two or three of these and you'd have uh, the equivalent of a very large garden in a very small space. And it's so easy to 
to handle and take care of. This is even great for um, somebody who's gotten a little too old to be working in a, a garden or somebody with disability that can't really get down on the ground and, and deal with all that stuff. It's, it's great. Very simple. Not hard to make. Very inexpensive. Works wonderfully. Produces ridiculous high yields with ridiculous low labor or expense.